All right, so this is like kind of my second time filming this video because I'm stupid and I realized I'm putting this on YouTube, not Instagram, and I was filming it vertically. Um, and it needs to be horizontal for YouTube, so. Anyway, all annoyance aside, I'm on here today to do an everyday makeup routine. Usually on my days off and stuff, I actually do more this is my day off but i'm showing you what i do every day because it's usually what i do um but i'm also here because i don't know if you guys have heard about this app called influencer i enjoy it because i enjoy reviewing products and letting people know what i have been liking anyway so this time i received the influencer rimmel london box so there's two products in here that they just launched obviously i did receive these products promotionally um i'm not getting paid to do this i honestly just think it's fun to do this <laughs> i've never tried them before i literally just opened the box in the last video that i half made so yeah this is the box i'm just going to show you the products now and then i'm going to do like my full face of makeup and review them in the process well not review them it's a first impressions because i've never tried them it's a brow and lash duo, which I'm excited about because my brows are my favorite thing. Um, I love brows in general, and I'm always looking for a new good mascara. I like something that's lengthening, not clumping, and I do like volume, so I kind of want it all. Alright, so in the first video, I already did my skincare and my first primer, so I'm just going to show you what I used. The first thing I do in the morning... I just go in with a makeup wipe and just get off all like the gook while I was sleeping. I usually don't wash my face in the morning, which is, I know it's bad, but I do it at night. So at least I do it once a day. After that, I go in with my serum, my eye cream, and my moisturizer. So my serum is the Lancome Advanced Genifique. The other product I use is their eye cream. So I don't have the worst under eye bags um but i don't want to have the worst under eye bags so i do really like that and then the last thing i use um i'm honestly just using to kind of get rid of i do really like the product i like how it feels but on the other hand it is for women who are 60 and up so i think it's definitely contributing to my breakouts i think it's too heavy for my skin i didn't even say what it was yet it's uh the lancome renergy multi glow face cream so a little while back cover fx came out with a whole new line of primers and everyone was raving about the freaking gripping primer and i could not find it for the life of me kind of gave up <laughs> so i just bought the blurring primer so i do actually really like this product but one day I walked into an Ulta, just, you know, I was bored, I was browsing, I was at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, you know, let's walk into Ulta, let's see what's going on, let's see what's new. And lo and behold, there was one gripping primer left. I was so excited to find this because at the end of the day, my makeup is, you touch it and it comes off. It is pricey, but it's worth it every penny it kind of feels like glue it's like sticky but i like that because that's how i know everything's gonna stick to it so same with the other one a little bit goes a long way you can like see, let's see what <laughs> it's like super goopy <laughs> So, um, here's a little tip. Uh, I use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and before I go into conceal, I go to the places where I feel like I need extra coverage or more smoothing. I put this under my eyes. <laughs> I just go in with concealer um, mainly just 
yeah now only just under my eyes i use like the powder foundation for the rest of my face day to day so this is the color pop concealer i kind of like looking like a pale dead girl which a lot of people like looking like orange hot dogs in the summer but that's not me you'll never see me going for a freaking spray tan um i just go in with a beauty sponge this is the real techniques one i never buy the real beauty blender i don't think it's worth it yes it's amazing i guess um i actually prefer the real techniques one but i know people are gonna chop my head off for that but whatever it's my opinion <laughs> I'm gonna set that concealer before I go into my powder foundation. I use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but the illuminating one, the original one, is trash. But this one, this one is everything. If you like a dewy look, um, if you like to look luminous, this is it. <music> I also go over like with the rest of what's ever my beauty blender I mean I'll take ink sponge and just go over the places that I put the MAC paint pot the angle and stuff definitely just shifted but that's because my phone fell so whatever I'm not a beauty guru I'm not freaking Kathleen Lights or Tati Westbrook so don't shoot me the next thing I use is the studio fix go through these things like it's um coffee i was gonna say water but i don't drink that much water so um i'm in n3 um i just take like a super dense brush i prefer the curved ones for some reason i feel like i can just like get into like crevices and stuff that you can't with just like a regular one you know I first start by just like patting and tapping um, because of this gripping primer um, if you do use any type of powder you usually buff it in um, I go in and just kind of set that gripping primer because it'll kind of pull and tug the primer underneath if you start buffing instantly so I just put a little bit on to ensure that no hugging will ensue and then I go in rub it in tap it off and now I go into buff um this is like my favorite powder at the moment I usually don't like powder as much because like I said I like to be dewy my like all-time favorite powder for the longest time was the Bare Minerals Original. I still use it and I still love it. I love the texture of it. I love the way it wears. I like that it looks like I'm wearing a liquid foundation when I'm not. Um, this one does that too though. Um, don't get me wrong. But I do like that one a tad bit more. I just wish they would make the shade range slightly lighter. Um, because I know there are people that are paler than me. You probably don't believe that. Because I'm pale. But I promise you, there are. Anyway, the next thing I do is bronzer. Can you guess what brand it is? Lancome. No, but in all seriousness, this is actually, I think, my all-time favorite bronzer. It's a perfect shade. It has luminosity. There's little specks of, like, goldness in it. Um, and I'm very sad that it hit Pam because now that I don't work for them anymore, I can't get it for free. That's like pay full price, which is trash. But this is in 05 Golden. So fun fact about me, before I got my first makeup job at um, Bare Minerals, I never touched blush. Um, I feared it, I hated it, I thought I looked like a psycho. And then I realized, blush is the bomb. So, now I love blush. Um, this blush is from Lancome as well. Um, it's, what color is this? Oh, it's Shimmer 
Mocha Habana. This is probably one of their most bought colors um, because it really does work with most skin tones. Um, it has a slight sheen to it, but nothing overpowering. And it's a very natural blush. Like you can see, like it's not super pink. It has more of that mocha undertone, which helps to blend it in with the bronzer. So when you're wearing just like an everyday look, you don't want to look super pink. This is like perfect. See, like I haven't put on any highlighter yet, but these products that I use. They make me look luminous, which is what I love. Sorry, I had an edge. That face is something of your nightmares. I'm sorry. Highlighter. So um, I switch between a lot of highlighters all the time. I'm always switching them up. This is my favorite at the moment. What is this called? So this is Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC. Um... It's disgusting that's like so gross and dirty it's funny because I feel like anybody who makes videos doesn't realize that <laughs> their makeup looks so used and dirty until they're on camera and they're like Ugh, like do I want people seeing that with like a flat super small brush um, and I'll let the brick out of it so now I'm gonna spray my entire face the cat did not like the sound of that so once my face is wet I go in quickly with that highlighting brush I was using previously and going over what I already highlighted. Nice. Okay, I'm super excited because now we get to try the new products. Um, but before that, I always go in with that blush brush I used and I just like blend everything together. So I look more like a human and not like Um, Tin Man. So I do brows before I do lashes. Lashes is like the last thing I do. Before that, I think I'm gonna move closer. Ooh, cute. We're up close and personal now. So I always go through, brush through the bad boys with a spoolie, mainly to get out any foundation. All right, let's unpackage this baby. So, um, the new Wonderful Brow, it's waterproof, which is bomb, especially since it's freaking raining today and I wanted to go to Barnes & Noble. My brows won't be melting off, that's great. Um, I think I have scissors, because I can't open this. Got it. So, it says that it's a gel um, with fibers, which, I'm very excited about that because I love my brows to look bushy and big and Sasquatch-like. So hopefully it'll do that. Not gonna lie, I'm slightly terrified. Um, you might not believe this, but I've never used a tinted brow gel. I only ever use clear because I usually go in with like a pen to just fill in the front and then I'll go in with a clear brow gel. Um, but who knows, maybe this will be like the day I find that this is my favorite product. Apparently it's supposed to be 24 hour wear. Um, yeah. Did I say that I got dark brown? I don't know if I said that, but I got dark brown. So let's see the color. Ooh, she's dark. Yeah, she's dark. But she matches, she does. I'm like slightly scared so I'm totally gonna just like wipe off a little bit because I don't that's always a tip if you don't wear mascara to be like clumpy or something or brows wipe it off you know you don't want that clump all right let's go in 
Okay. Okay. She's cute. So far, so good. <gasps> I'm actually excited. <laughs> Guys, we might have just found a drugstore miracle. Um, Caitlin's new favorite product. All right, let's do it again on the other side. No. Frick. See, that's what I was afraid of. Like, that scares me. Like, is it going to go away? Oh, yes. Okay, so. Let me finish this and then I'll, I'll do thoughts. All right, so I'm going to go in with my spoolie. Oh yeah, that's definitely something I like. I like my brow gels to feel like they're cemented to my face. Cause that means that they're not gonna move. I actually really like them. Okay, we'll do full thoughts at the end. So, cause I really wanna do the mascara. So, I'm interested about the wand because when it comes to wands on mascara brushes i am a prissy brat i like them to be fluffy and fuzzy and soft like this one wasn't plastic like it feels like like a real brush you know um this one i think is plastic it is oh i'm nervous <laughs> all right so let me talk about it for a second so it says full bodied volume and care mascara. So yeah, on this, um, it says it delivers full body volume. It's infused with luxurious argan, maracuja, marula, and camellia oils for smooth and conditioned lashes. Clump free, we'll see. Long lasting, hopefully. Um, smudge proof. I hope. Flake proof. It better not flake. I'll be very upset if it does. And easy to remove. So it's not waterproof, so it should be easy to remove. Also, since it's infused with oils, it should be easy to remove. You know, when you're like taking off your mascara at night and like your eyelashes rip out. Yeah. I like my mascaras to be like super wet. This one's like, it's more goopy than it is wet. I'll say that. Um, but we're trying new things today, people. So, doing the same thing I did with the brow. I'm gonna wipe off the excess. I'm kind of terrified. Okay. I'm gonna start with this eye. Oh, it's gonna be hard because I like to look down. Okay, we'll do this. Hold on. make the funniest faces when I'm putting on mascara I'm sorry Ew. okay I'm back so what I did is I just finished the mascara bottom top with the same mascara um, cleaned up my jewelry I'm a little more with a q-tip so they don't look dirty because that's disgusting and i put on a lip this is mac um yash great lip 10 out of 10 would recommend all right so final thoughts i really like the brow product i it 100 percent made my brows fuller fluffier they are 110 percent in place they are not going anywhere it feels like cement and I love it. It did the job, you know? It was a perfect color for me, dark brown. If you have similar hair like me, this would definitely be the choice. Um, So I I honestly give this product 10 out of 10 stars. It's, it's really good. I do really like this. The mascara. <sighs> First impressions are hard because you know, you only used them once. 
um i don't know i don't know how you feel about it um it claims in this that it is clump free um i will tell you right now it is not i tried to like brush through it with a spoolie this eye came out like pretty perfect this one did clump a bit um it, it was spidery for a second i got a little scared um most of the time i usually think that's just because when you pull it out you know you didn't take off all the excess product which could have been my fault um but then yet it does claim clump free um not stating you should rub off any product so um i think i debunked the um clump free it is not um, but it is something you can work around. I know clumpy mascara some people cannot stand. I'm always willing to try out products and make them work for me. I like the voluminous look. I love the shape of the brush for under eye. I got no mascara under my eye, which is great. Um, and I actually like the brush. I usually hate brushes like this, but I, I do like the brush. Um, I will say it did flake a little bit when I was brushing through it with a spoolie, um, but then yet I was fidgeting with it. I, I wasn't just sitting there, you know, drinking a cup of tea and reading a book and getting flakes on my face. So, I, I mean, it's not flake free, but I don't really know yet. This product, I give like... <sighs> six and a half out of ten I feel like that's like a crappy rating and it looks really good the reason being is because I'm comparing it to so many other mascaras that I love you know like that are like my diehards um, I guess without comparing aside um, by how it looks, by how it went on, by how it performed, I would give it like an 8. You know, for a drugstore mascara, it's not bad. It's just you really have to work with it. Um, personally, I don't mind that, but if I'm rushing to work, I can't be fussing with a mascara to make it work. I need my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes to just and go, you know? So... And all in all, I changed my rating for this because I was being comparative and that's not right. So, 10 out of 10, freaking 11 out of 10. This is amazing. Buy this. I'm not kidding.